Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Islam Answers back here with some more good information for you. Again, guys, don't forget to like, follow, and you're definitely going to learn. And remember, the notes that are in these videos are available on my Patreon. They're already laid out for you. They're already in order, prepared. All you have to do is either watch it on your, your, your mobile device or computer or whatever, or you can print them out, have them ready for you to study for your own personal study, or you can use them yourself. So you can handle these claims when you're met with them on your own individual discussions, dialogues, and debates online, family members, or dawah out on the streets. Take advantage, check it out, join the Patreon today. The link is here on the screen, but it'll take you right to it on my profile page. Well, let's get to it. Dealing with how Christians misquote the Quran. Another claim that they make uh, of misquoting the Quran is that <clears throat> the Quran affirms the Bible, right? You may have heard this a lot. You may have seen it a lot on social media. The Quran affirms the Bible. They're, they're, they're misquoting the Quran, saying that the Quran affirms the Bible. But what's the truth? Let's take a look and examine the truth of what the Quran does. Does it affirm the Bible? Well, of course, the answer is no, it does not affirm the Bible. Christians, I don't know where you get this from. You're, you're, you're misquoting the Quran completely. Nowhere does the Quran affirm your Bible. What does it say about the scriptures that you guys have, which, is, which, which would be your Bible? Let's take a look. In chapter 2, verse 75 of the Quran, Allah tells us, a group of them would hear the word of Allah, then knowingly corrupt it after understanding it. In this same chapter 2, verse 79, Allah goes further and says, Woe to those who write the, write the scripture with their own hands and then say, This is from Allah. This is referring to your Bible. This is what the Quran says is, would, would, would amount to your Bible. It is a scripture that you that the people of the book, i.e. Christians and Jews, knowingly corrupted. It is a book that they are bringing to us that they wrote with their hands. And then they say that which they wrote is from Allah, but it is not. In chapter 3, verse 78, not only do, do, does Allah say that they corrupted it with their hands, they also speak about it falsely. They corrupt it and distort it in words as they speak. Allah says, 378, they distort the book with their tongues to make you think it is from the book, but it is not. Allah says that they disregarded the scriptures that they have, right? Chapter 3, verse 187. They disregarded the scripture given to them, casting it behind their backs. In chapter 5, verse 13, Allah says, They distorted the words of the scripture and neglected a portion of what had been commanded. So once again, Allah is telling us that the scripture that you guys bring to us, it is not from him. It is something that you wrote with your hands and you claim that it was from God. You distort it by writing. You distort it as you speak. You disregarded it and threw it behind your backs. Once again, as we just read, Allah says they distorted the words of the scripture and neglected a portion of it, of which was commanded to them. Allah goes further today in chapter, say in chapter 6, verse 91, they split the book of Moses into parts, revealing some and hiding much of it. This is what your Bible is. This is what the Quran says about your Bible. It does not affirm it. The verses that you read that speak about how Allah says he revealed the Torah to Moses. Yes, he's, a, he's affirming that he did reveal at one time the Torah to Moses, not the Old Testament. He says he gave the Injil to Jesus, not the New Testament. He didn't say Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. He said, no, he said he gave the Injil or the gospel to Jesus. You don't have that. You have the New Testament. You have gospels according to Mark according to Matthew, according to Luke, according to John, letters of Paul, letters of Peter. Allah never said he revealed any scripture to any of those names. So your Bible, so the Quran is not affirming the Bible at all. What the Quran is, is condemning the Bible as a book written by your own hands and passed off falsely as the word of God. It is a book that Allah says they distort as they speak, 
and they distort it in writing. You see, the scripture that was given, Allah says they neglected it and threw it behind their backs. And just to make the point clear, we can take a look at one of the early Muslims and see what he said to show you that nowhere was it understood that the Quran affirmed your Bible. Let's take a look from the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. It gives a statement from one of the companions, uh, Ibn Abbas. And you see what he says, that the people of the book have definitely distorted their scriptures. Okay? This is what the early Muslims understood as they read the Quran. They, they did not see that the Quran was somehow affirming the Bible. They understood, just like he says here, look, Allah told you they corrupted their scriptures. See, that's what that's what the that's what the Quran is saying. Quran is saying you corrupted your scriptures. It's not affirming them. No, it's saying you corrupted them. As you see, this early Muslim Ibn Abbas is saying right here, right? He says, Allah told you that they distorted, that they corrupted their scriptures. So what are you asking them? You don't have to go to ask them about nothing. Because Allah told you they corrupted their scriptures. That's what it says. So the Quranic position is clear. They have books that they wrote themselves having distortions and changes. That's what the Quran says about your Bible. Okay? Don't forget, guys, again, to like, follow me. You're going to learn. And remember, these notes that I use in this video right here and the many other videos, all those notes are available on my Patreon. Join the Patreon today. Support my Dawah. And I give my followers exclusive access to those notes already prepared for you, laid out. All you got to do is just study them, read them, memorize the notes, memorize the verses, memorize the argument. But it's all laid out for you with the verses, the links and, and references to whatever uh, hadith we gave or whatever um, scholarly opinion or whatever articles about these different issues. We, we try to give you as much information to make you as prepared as possible to counter the Christian missionary claims and lies against Islam. Appreciate it. Assalamu alaikum.